exclusive contract novel from Felu Novel Network. After the victory of the anti-Japanese war, I ascended the throne and proclaimed myself emperor in northern Myanmar in August 1945, the anti-Japanese war achieved a comprehensive victory. As a time traveler, Zhao Wu was well aware of the development of history. In order to avoid aiming his gun at his compatriots, he resolutely led his 49th Division into the Golden Triangle for independent development and unexpectedly activated the Red Alert base system. So, Zhao Wu crazily explodes his troops, arming the strongest Red Police Corps with the most advanced Red Police equipment, starting from the Golden Triangle, and establishing his own Red Police Empire. Transcendental Corps French Cannon Weather controller. Iron curtain device. Crack generator one revolutionary weapon after another appeared in this era, a behemoth slowly rose from Southeast Asia and began to stir up the world. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 I, the legendary commander of the anti-Japanese war. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. On August 14, 1945, China and the Soviet Union signed the Treaty of Friendship and Alliance between China and the Soviet Union, on the 15th, Japan sent a note to China, the Soviet Union, the United States, and the United Kingdom, expressing acceptance of the Potsdam Declaration. At noon on the 15th, Emperor Hirohito of Japan announced unconditional surrender by broadcasting the final war edict. So far, the anti-Japanese war, which lasted for 14 years and resulted in nearly 35 million military and civilian casualties and a loss of 600 billion US dollars in China, has finally come to an end. A few days later, China, Yunnan Province, Pu'er. The 5th Army of Yunnan Army, 49th Division Headquarters. Zhao Wu looked at the telegram of Japan's unconditional surrender in his hand, his face full of joy. The little devil surrendered unconditionally, how could he be unhappy? Not just him. At this moment, all the Chinese military and civilians who learned this news were extremely excited. Throughout China, people's cheers and the sound of gongs and drums are everywhere. But, the joyful expression on Zhao Wu's face did not last long. Soon, his face turned from joy to sorrow. As a traveler, Zhao Wu knows history. After the end of the War of Resistance against Japan, a war within China will follow closely, and it is impossible to avoid fighting among the same people. That bald guy had already hit hard multiple times during the anti-Japanese war, let alone after the little devils surrendered. It's time to go. When facing the little devils, Zhao Wu can act without hesitation, but it is absolutely impossible for him to fight with his roommates. In fact, since Zhao Wu traveled to this era and joined the Yunnan army, he has been fighting against the little devils. As a traveler, Zhao Wu naturally carried a system with him. His system is called the Red Alert System. However, unfortunately, his system has always been in novice protection mode. In novice protection mode, he cannot deploy base vehicles, let alone build various red alert buildings. However, he can directly recruit basic red alert barracks units, such as red alert soldiers and red alert soldiers, but can only recruit up to one reinforced division with 18,000 troops. All the conscripted red police soldiers were 100% loyal to Zhao Wu, so Zhao Wu ordered and prohibited them in the army. At the same time, all ammunition of Red Alert soldiers can be replenished through funds. This makes Zhao Wu's 49th Division, under his command, repeatedly made remarkable achievements on the anti-Japanese battlefield. Countless young devils died in the hands of the 49th Division and were praised by Jiang Guangzhou countless times. Because the 49th Division was really capable of fighting, Jiang Guangzhou didn't know how many times he had already wooed Zhao Wu, but he was politely rejected by Zhao Wu. After failing to win over Zhao Wu, Jiang Guangzhou sent people to secretly contact the three equally outstanding regimental leaders under Zhao Wu's command. But, 
because all the 49th Division were Red Alert soldiers, how could Jiang Guantou's efforts to win over be successful? If it weren't for Zhao Wu secretly causing his subordinates to compromise with Jiang Guantou in order to obtain more funds from him, the envoy sent by Jiang Guantou might not even be able to see the faces of the three of them. Cough, I'm pulling it too far. Let's get to the point. Zhao Wu's retreat route has actually been planned for a long time, and it is known as the Golden Triangle area in later generations. The area of the Golden Triangle is not too small or too large, with a total area of about 150,000 to 200,000 square kilometers. It has closed transportation and mountains, but the land is fertile and the climate is warm and humid, so it is still very suitable for development. At the same time, the situation in the Golden Triangle is chaotic enough and the overall combat effectiveness of the surrounding forces is relatively weak. Chaos is the only way for Zhao Wu to fish in troubled waters and develop at a faster pace. Weakness, on the other hand, can enable Zhao Wu to develop at a lower cost. Zhao Wu is very familiar with Jiang Bald's personality. With his personality, Although he may still be talking about peaceful coexistence and avoiding civil war, he is definitely secretly discussing with his subordinates how to start a war next. Based on the performance of the 49th Division during the anti-Japanese war, Jiang Guangzhou would definitely dispatch the 49th Army to the front line as soon as possible. Perhaps by this time, Jiang Guangzhou's envoy is already on his way over. And once his envoy arrives, it won't be so easy for Zhao Wu to leave Pu'er unnoticed. So. Cut it off immediately. Zhao Wu hardly hesitated. Immediately issue the order to leave Pu'er to the entire army. That night, the 49th Division quietly left Pu'er. Heading south, they quickly crossed the border and entered the Jingdong area of the later Golden Triangle. At the moment of entering Jingdong. Zhao Wu's ear suddenly remembered the elusive mechanical prompt sound. Ding! It has been detected that the commander has left the ranks of the National Revolutionary Army and is now a free force. The novice protection mode has been lifted, and the red alert base vehicle has been unlocked. Please place the red alert base vehicle as soon as possible. Zhao Wu. What? What? Seeking free flowers. Seeking free evaluation tickets. Seeking rewards. Seeking everything. One or two flowers are also love, one or two photos are also love, give some to some. Even if it's a flower, one evaluation ticket is enough. Just let the author know that someone is watching. Chapter 2 Red Alert System, Conquering Jingdong You are listening at novelfull.audio Shit. Gone. Gone Lin Nyang. Nyang Shipi. Novice protection mode requires becoming a free force. You said so earlier. If you had said it earlier, I would have gone straight to the Golden Triangle at the beginning. Shit. After hearing the prompt sound of the system startup, Zhao Wu suddenly became indignant in his heart. Teacher, what's wrong with you? On the side. Seeing Zhao Wu's suddenly gloomy expression, the leader of a regiment next to him, Yu Jun, couldn't help but ask. Ha! Huh. It's okay. Zhao Wu regained his composure and breathed a sigh before saying, It's just that I'm feeling a bit annoyed when I think about the upcoming civil war in China and the cohabitation that's happening. Red police soldiers are also human beings. In addition to being 100% loyal to Commander Zhao Wu, they also have joys, sorrows, and joys. At the same time, all red police soldiers recruited from the base are assumed to be Chinese. So. Upon hearing this. Yu Jun's mood suddenly lowered. Alright, domestic affairs are no longer our concern for now. Our top priority now is to establish ourselves in the Golden Triangle as quickly as possible. Zhao Wu temporarily set aside the newly activated red alarm system and asked, How far is our army from Jingdong County now? If you march lightly, there will be about 40 minutes journey, said Yu Jundao. What is the current situation on Jingdong's side? 
Has the news of the reconnaissance soldiers been transmitted back? Report to the commander, it just came back. Although Jingdong appears to be controlled by the Burmese government, it is actually controlled by a local drug trafficking armed force, with a force of about 600 people, because Jingdong is located on the border of Myanmar and has closed transportation mountains. Drug Dealers Whether before or after the journey, Zhao Wu has always had a strong aversion to drug gambling in his heart. What? What about yellow? Cough, I understand everything I know. So. After pondering for a moment, Zhao Wu immediately ordered, Yu Jun, the task of capturing Jing Dong will be handed over to your regiment. I have only one request, and that is, all the drug dealers will not be left behind. Yes, ensure completion of the task. Go ahead. Yes, sir. No, starting from today, you don't need to call me, Division Commander, you need to call me, Commander, Dot. Yes, Your Excellency Commander. After watching Yu Jun leave, Zhao Wu immediately checked the various functions of the Red Alert System, which had departed from the Novice Protection Mode. Similar to the Red Alert game played by Zhao Wu in his previous life, it allows him to build various buildings for the Allied and Soviet forces in Red Alert 2 and recruit various units. According to the system, if technology is unlocked to a certain level, even those super weapons can be built. Even later on, even units within Red Alert 3 can recruit and produce. In addition, some new buildings have been added to the system, such as a logistic center that provides food and ammunition supplies for Red Alert soldiers, and an arms factory that replaces weapons and equipment for Red Alert soldiers. Of course. Building Red Police buildings and recruiting Red Police units both require funding. There are two ways to obtain funds. The first is to directly recover gold through base vehicles, and the second is to recover all metal minerals except for gold through a refineries. The mineral resources around here are a bit barren, surprisingly only one star. On the system panel, you can see mineral resources within a radius of 20 kilometers. Within a radius of 20 kilometers, there are a total of four mining sites, all of which are one star rated. According to the system, a one-star mining site has no mining value. So Xiao Wu immediately gave up the idea of extracting and deploying the base vehicle in place, and then began to build a red police base around him. He continued to lead the army slowly towards Jingdong County. Due to carrying family and supplies, the marching speed is very slow. So, by the time the army arrived at Jingdong County, the county had already been attacked by Yu Jun's regiment. No, no, no. More precisely, it should be said that they were conquered by regiments, battalions, and companies. Yes, a platoon. This is not an exaggeration at all. After all, Jingdong is just a small county town. The city wall is only three or four meters high, and its thickness is not good. It is still built with lus. Moreover, those who occupy Jingdong are just a group of drug traffickers who are greedy for life and afraid of death, bully the weak and fear the hard. In their hands are some firearms that have been phased out by the armies of various countries. Not to mention heavy weapons, they don't even have light machine guns. And Zhao Wu's 49th Division is the ace main force of the Nationalist Army, with very luxurious equipment. An infantry company equipped with two 60mm mortars, six 40mm grenade launchers, nine light machine guns, ten precision firing rifles, 110 standard rifles, and 60 pistols. The difference in equipment between the two is completely different. No, no, no. It's not just equipment. As the flagship division, the 49th Division has experienced over a hundred wars, big and small, over the years, and its combat experience is incredibly rich. And what about those drug dealers? Where did you come from? What kind of combat experience? The conflict between drug dealers for profit can only be called a mechanical fight at most. So, in terms of combat experience, Yi Lien has also crushed that group of drug dealers. 
When a team of 166 people took control of Jingdong County, only one was injured. And the reason why this soldier was injured was not because he was beaten by a drug dealer, but because he accidentally stumbled and broke his face while chasing the scattered drug dealer. Seeking free flowers. Seeking free evaluation tickets. Seeking rewards. Seeking everything. One or two flowers are also love, one or two photos are also love, give some to some. Even if it's a flower, one evaluation ticket is enough. Just let the author know that someone is watching. Chapter 3 Expansion and Replacement You are listening at NovelFull.audio After taking over Jingdong County, Zhao Wu did not stop expanding. One regiment, two regiments, and three regiments respectively attacked Menggong, Mengnai, Maomei, and Xingwei, adjacent to Jingdong, in an attempt to quickly control the eastern Shan state and West state of Myanmar. All drug trafficking forces encountered along the way will be completely eradicated, leaving no one behind. The headquarters camp located in Jingdong is not idle either. They have scattered in the Jingdong area and started a comprehensive encirclement of drug traffickers scattered throughout the area. Zhao Wu is no different, he is not idle either. With a guard company and the systems built at IN 20 km mine radar, we searched for the best base placement point. After two days of hard work, Zhao Wu successfully found a good mining area in the center of Menggong, Mengnai, and Jingdong, with a total of seven different mining points of different sizes. According to the intelligent core of the Red Alert base, the entire mining area is worth approximately 2 to 3 million yuan in funds. 2 to 3 million yuan, although not very much, is not too little, it is enough for Zhao Wu's early development. Not to mention, over the years, Zhao Wu has already held nearly 1 million yuan in funds in his hands. Some of these funds were obtained by the three regimental leaders under his command through the deceit of Jiang Guangto, while the other part was obtained by Zhao Wu after selling the spoils of war. After extracting the red police base vehicle that was included when the system was activated and finding a suitable location to deploy, Zhao Wu immediately checked the relevant operations of the red police base. Ha! Huh. Fortunately, although many aspects of the Red Alert base are different from those in the game, the cost of each building in the Red Alert is the same as in the game. After breathing a sigh of relief, Zhao Wu began his bold construction. The first thing to be built is undoubtedly a power plant. Different from in the game. It is not possible to build buildings in the game at the same time, but in reality, it is different. As long as they are unlocked and meet the prerequisite conditions, they can be built casually as long as the funds are sufficient. Considering the absolute need for a large amount of electricity in the future, Zhao Wu immediately built five power plants. Subsequently, in order to obtain as much funding as possible every day, Zhao Wu built an or refining plant in seven mining sites. After the completion of seven or refining plants, a total of about 20,000 yuan of funds can be steadily increased for Zhao Wu every day. After obtaining stable income, Zhao Wu immediately began building barracks, logistics centers, as well as military and artillery factories. The barracks are responsible for providing a stable source of troops. The logistics supply center is responsible for solving the logistics supply issues of the 49th Division and the subsequent Red Police Corps recruited. As mentioned earlier, the arsenal is a place specialized in producing weapons. Building a building takes time. It took Xiao Wu a total of seven days to complete all the buildings, power plants or refineries, barracks, logistics centers, red alert factories, and artillery factories mentioned above. After the establishment of the arsenal, Xiao Wu couldn't wait to start giving the 49th Division no, no, no. Now it's time to call him the Red Police 1st Division. During the novice protection period, all the equipment of the Red Police soldiers recruited by Zhao Wu was the equipment of the National Army. What about the equipment of the Nationalist Army? In fact, it is barely acceptable in this era, but the Red Alert Arsenal and Artillery Factory can produce all firearms and equipment born before 1946. Since there are better equipment to choose from, why not choose better equipment? 
After the upgrade, the Red Alert 1st Division was equipped with M1 brand semi.automatic rifles, MG42 General. Purpose machine guns, Lee Enfield sniper rifles, Thompson submachine guns, M29A1 type 81mm mortars, 155mm caliber heavy howitzers, 105mm caliber howitzers. M2 water. Cooled anti. Aircraft machine guns compared to the previous equipment. The difference should not be too large, and the combat effectiveness of the 1st Division should also be greatly improved. However, this wave of dress changes cost Zhao Wu a lot of money, about 500,000 yuan. The change of attire did not delay the battle on the side of the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd regiments, and it went very smoothly. After all, this is also normal. The three regiments are all ace main battle groups, dealing with some drug trafficking armed forces is simply effortless and effortless. Not even a cannon was used. No, no, no. Don't say it's a cannon. A person of one or two hundred can even drive four or five hundred, six or seven hundred, and even thousands of drug traffickers into armed combat. It can be seen from this how weak the armed forces of these drug traffickers in the Golden Triangle region are. Although the Golden Triangle area, due to its steep terrain and high difficulty in development, has not received much attention from both the previous British rule and the current Burmese government rule. But actually, during this period, the drug trafficking armed forces in the Golden Triangle area near Myanmar had some degree of support behind them, with most of them being British military officers and a small portion being Burmese government military officers. So, the operation of the 123rd Regiment in northern Myanmar naturally caught the attention of the Burmese government army and the British army that had not yet withdrawn. To be honest, the plan that Zhao Wu made when he first decided to enter the Golden Triangle area was not so bold or radical, but rather intended to adopt a gradual and warm water boiling method for frogs. After all, he only has one division of troops in total. But now, the Red Alert base has officially launched. Explosive weapon in hand. He is already fearless. When he opens more mines, not to mention the British army on Myanmar's side, even if the British army on Myanmar's side and the French army stationed on Lao's attack at the same time, he has no fear at all. Seeking free flowers. Seeking free evaluation tickets. Seeking rewards. Seeking everything. One or two flowers are also love, one or two photos are also love, give some to some. Even if it's a flower, one evaluation ticket is enough. Just let the author know that someone is watching. Chapter 4 The Response of the British Army Ambush. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Myanmar is located in Southeast Asia and borders the Myanmar Sea to the southwest. In 1044 AD, a unified country was formed, which went through the Pugin Dynasty, Dongyu Dynasty, and Gongbang Dynasty. Between 1824 and 1885, Great Britain launched three Anglo Burmese wars and successfully occupied Burma. In 1886, Great Britain designated Burma as a province of British India. During World War II, Japan occupied Myanmar in May 1942 and established a nominally independent Burmese executive government led by BAMO. With the support of Japan, Aung San organized the Burmese Independence Volunteer Army. In 1942, they led the army to participate in the battle against the British Army, and then declared Burmese independence from Great Britain with the support of the Japanese army. However, in 1944, after sensing the changing situation and direction of the World War, Aung San began to lean towards the allied countries of the United States and Europe and organized the Anti-Fascist People's Freedom Alliance to confront the Japanese army. In 1945, after Japan's surrender, although the public declaration of Burma's independence was valid, Burma remained under the control of Great Britain after the war. It was not until January 1948 that Myanmar officially separated from the Commonwealth and gained true independence. So, at present, there are still a large number of British two divisions in Myanmar, with nearly 25,000 troops and horses. 
The biggest beneficiaries of the drug trafficking industry in the WAS state of northern Myanmar are actually the British military. The vast majority of drug traffickers are required to pay protection fees to the British Army. As we all know, arms and drug trafficking are both highly profitable industries, both of which generate huge profits. This can be seen from the large amount of pounds seized by the Red Police's 1st, 2nd, and 3rd regiments in the past five days after suppressing the drug trafficking armed forces in northern Myanmar. 800,000 pounds. Yes. The Red Police seized a total of 800,000 pounds from the armed forces of drug traffickers. The purchasing power of the pound during World War II was very strong. One pound equals five dollars equals twelve silver dollars. The purchasing power of silver dollars during that period was equivalent to around 150 yuan in modern times. In this way of conversion, 800,000 pounds is equivalent to 1.4 billion soft coins in later generations. Although not particularly many, there are definitely quite a few. And. Don't forget. The armed forces of drug traffickers in northern Myanmar are required to pay protection fees to British military officers, while also purchasing various weapons and ammunition at high prices from the British Army. So in fact, most of the money they obtained from drug trafficking fell into the hands of some British military officers. Even a small portion of them could receive tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of pounds each year, and many could even have tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of pounds. When the British Army learned that a strong armed force had emerged in the Wa state of northern Myanmar and was rapidly expanding, they did not care. But when they learned that the armed force not only captured the entire eastern Shan state in a few days, but also comprehensively cleaned up all the drug trafficking armed forces in the entire eastern Shan state, and carried out large dot-scale drug control in all towns within the state, the British Army immediately couldn't sit still. The drug traffickers in the eastern Shan and Wa states are their money bags. How could they sit still when their money bags are gone? So. On the third day after the Red Police captured the Eastern Shan and Wa states, the 35th Brigade of the 18th Division of the British Army set off directly from Mandalay, charging towards the area controlled by the Red Police Corps with a fierce and aggressive attack. A British division is around 120 million, consisting of three regiments, each with approximately 4,000 people. Although there are not many troops, the equipment is very luxurious. Of course, it is still inferior to the Red Police Corps after changing clothes, but it is definitely better than most of the military equipment of the Nationalist Army. What? Zhao Wu has a division with a total of 18,000 troops, why did the British only send 4,000 troops over? The reason is very simple. Firstly, it was because the British Army was too arrogant and sent troops without even conducting basic intelligence investigations. Secondly, it is because the combat effectiveness of those drug trafficking armed forces is too weak. The Red Alert soldiers did not even fire their guns and did not fire much before easily sweeping them. Therefore, the intelligence provided by the drug traffickers to the British Army did not mention how many people were on Zhao Wu's side, so the British Army believed that there were only two to three thousand people on Zhao Wu's side at most. Two days later, Myanmar, at the border of Shibu and Mengong. A light-armored British army is swaying along the road, heading forward. They didn't even send the scouts walking at the forefront of the team. It's obvious. The British army did not believe that they had occupied the armed forces in eastern Shan state and dared to provoke them. In the eyes of the British army, that armed force was just a larger group of drug traffickers. Right now. Suddenly, a British platoon leader walking on the left side of the line suddenly had a blossoming head. Blood splatters. Next second. Bang. The loud gunfire came from the direction of the small hill in the distance on the west side. Not good. Damn it. Fake. There is an ambush. At this moment. All the British soldiers who witnessed this scene had this idea in their hearts. However. Not yet waiting for them to speak. Da 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 da. Bang 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 bang. 
From the hills on both sides of the road, a dense and tearing sound echoed at the same time. The red alert soldiers, who had been waiting for a long time, simultaneously pulled the trigger in their hands. That moment. Hundreds of MG-42 General Dot Purpose machine guns, firing at the same time. In an instant. Thousands of bullets, like a storm, covered the British army. A massacre unfolds here. Seeking free flowers. Seeking free evaluation tickets. Seeking rewards. Seeking everything. One or two flowers are also love, and one or two flowers are also love. Give it a little bit. Even if it's a flower, one evaluation ticket is enough. Just let the author know that someone is watching. On the first day, as long as there is flower data, the author's sauce can be released at 10, 15, or even 20, with saved manuscripts, full of confidence. Chapter 5 The Complete Annihilation of the 35th Brigade of the British Army You are listening at NovelFull.audio MG-42 General Dot Purpose Machine Gun, with a full length of 1,219mm, a barrel length of 533mm, a firing rate of 1,200.1500 rounds per minute, a muzzle velocity of 755m per second, and an effective range of 800-1000 mobile. With a firing rate of 1,200.1500 rounds per minute, the sound of its shooting is continuous, like the sound of tearing cloth. Its high dot speed bullet rain destroys all unprotected targets in front of it. Under the simultaneous firing of hundreds of MG 42 heavy machine guns. In an instant, thousands of bullets, massive and dense, shot out from the muzzle in a continuous stream. The bullets were overwhelming, interweaving into a dense and sharp web in the air. Wherever we pass, no grass grows. The unsuspecting British army collapsed in patches. Ah ah ah. Ah ah. Ah 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 ah. Under the dense tearing sound of MG-42, there were continuous screams and howls from the British army. That's not all. After the gunfire, the sound of gunfire followed closely, which was a dense barrage of gunfire coming from the slopes on both sides. After the upgrade, Zhao Wu's three Red Alert reinforced regiments were equipped with 250 light mortars that were more portable, in addition to 105mm caliber howitzers and 155mm caliber heavy howitzers. When the MG42 General Dot Purpose Machine Gun, M1 brand semi dot automatic rifle, and lean field sniper rifle launched a fierce attack on the British Army located within the ambush circle, the 250 mortars launched a saturated firepower attack on the British Army outside the ambush circle. What? Saturation strikes are a waste of ammunition. Grandma Tay. It seems like someone really cares about this little ammunition money. Boom. 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 Boom 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 boom. The sound of explosions kept coming and going. Moreover, all the mortar shells used by the Red Police Corps are specially made high explosive shells produced by the Red Police Arsenal. At the same time as the explosive power is impressive, there are also many fragments produced after the explosion, which has a very high killing power on people. Boom. 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 Mortar shells shot out rapidly from the barrel. After crossing a beautiful arc in the air, it finally landed straight on a small truck covered in black cloth, which was the only British truck transporting mortar shells. Although many shells were deflected and landed on the surrounding ground, there were still about 20.30 rounds that successfully landed on the small truck. Then. Boom. A series of terrifying explosions were born. Hundreds of shells were detonated simultaneously. Explosion, earth shattering. The flames burst into the sky. The shock wave generated by the explosion dispersed and directly tore apart the British army within a hundred meters. Bang! 
After hundreds of shells were detonated, the flames and thick smoke formed a small mushroom cloud, rising into the air. The scorching shock wave dispersed in all directions, sweeping everything within a hundred meters of the explosion center. If the British Army walking ahead, those who were strafed by hundreds of MG-42 General Dot Purpose machine guns, could not even see their complete bodies under thousands of bullets, then the British Army located near the explosion center even had no bodies or bones left. Although the British Army has already suffered a lot. But. On this side of the Red Alert team, there is no hint of pity or sympathy, nor is there any intention of stopping. Da 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 da. Bang 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 bang. Boom 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 boom. 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 The sound of machine guns, rifles, and artillery kept coming and going. Bullets and shells, like free money, were densely packed, constantly flowing and massive, frantically venting towards the British Army. Massacre. 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 Undoubtedly, this is a crushing massacre. Without any vigilance, being ambushed, and the Red Police Corps unaware of the saturation strike of conservation. Under the combination of the three. This battle ended in less than half an hour. And. Half of this half hour was spent cleaning the battlefield. Although Zhao Wu doesn't like the weapons of the British Army, there are some that people can appreciate. Nowadays, arms trade is one of the most profitable businesses. Not long. Didi, Didi. Didi. Accompanied by the telegram returning. Within the red alert base. Within the red alert base. Ha ha ha. All right. All right. All right. Yujun, that's great. It's not in vain that I spent a whole 500,000 yuan to dress you up. Zhao Wu, who received the battle report, was immediately overjoyed. A reinforced Red Police Brigade of 4,500 people versus a British Brigade of 4,000 people. Not only did it solve the battle in 30 minutes, but it also created a battle damage ratio that could definitely shock the world's jaws.0.4000. Yes, you're not mistaken, it's zero. 4,000, on the side of the Red Police Corps, no one died, only about 20 were injured. On the other hand, on the British side, except for a very few British soldiers who were at the end of the line and ran the fastest, almost all of them were annihilated. What concept is this? The concept of explosion. An incredible concept. An unheard of concept. Unprecedented concept. Although the British army has gradually declined and their combat effectiveness is not very good, a few years ago when the Japanese invaded Burma, Without the help of the expeditionary forces, the British army would have been expelled from Burma long ago. But. As the saying goes, a skinny camel is bigger than a horse. It can be seen from this. How powerful is the Red Police Corps under Zhao Wu's command after dressing up? P.S. The image shows the protagonist's current territory map, using the software EU4 and Yellow Plot. Seeking free flowers. Seeking free evaluation tickets. Seeking monthly tickets. Seeking rewards. Seeking everything. All handsome and elegant, charming and charming, everyone loves flowers, flowers, cars, and tire blowouts. Readers, please give us some free flower evaluation tickets. Begging. Finally, I wish everyone a happy mid autumn festival duck. Chapter 6 Significant increase in revenue, starting to build intelligence institutions. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Zhao Wu originally thought. After suffering such a big loss on their own side, the British Army will definitely come back and fight back with great force as soon as possible. For this. In the next five days, Zhao Wu led his Red Alert Guard Company to eliminate the armed forces of drug traffickers fleeing in the occupied area while using the Red Alert base to search for mining sites in the occupied area and build one or refinery after another. In five days, with Zhao Wu's efforts, he could earn around 60,000 yuan in financial income just by lying still every day. 
60,000 yuan a day, that's not enough. Looking at his daily financial income on the panel, Zhao Wu couldn't help but furrow his brows. After all, if recruited according to the current configuration of Zhao Wu's three reinforced regiments, he would need nearly 1.2 million yuan to recruit a Red Police reinforced regiment. Even if Xiao Wu doesn't spend a single penny of his 60,000 yuan per day, he still needs to save for a full 20 days to save enough. If any country or power in this world knew Xiao Wu's thoughts at the moment, they would definitely curse Versailles. In just 20 days, you can obtain a 4,500 strong team. This is so slow. Slow down, slow down. And. The reinforced regiment recruited by Zhao Wu is still equipped with very luxurious equipment. Currently, the three red police strengthening regiments under Zhao Wu have the same configuration, as follows. The total number of personnel is 4,500, consisting of three reinforced infantry battalions, one reinforced artillery battalion, one logistics company, one engineering company, one cavalry company, one sniper company, one regimental company, one supporting artillery company, one reserve infantry supplement company, one air defense battalion, 250 light mortars, a total of 70 howitzers, and 300 light and heavy machine guns. The reinforcement teams he will recruit in the future will also be recruited according to this template. Let's get to the point. Within the Red Alert base. Speaking of which, why hasn't there been any movement from the British side? It's been five days now, is it possible that I'm afraid of being beaten up? This shouldn't have happened. Zhao Wu's eyebrows suddenly furrowed. This is not right, and at the same time, it is also very inappropriate. Although the Empire of Sunset has been declining since World War I, as the saying goes, a skinny camel is bigger than a horse. Today, the Empire of Sunset still has a large number of colonies and territories overseas, and the hearts of its citizens are still filled with pride. The same goes for the British Army. Not to mention. The current situation is that their entire brigade has been destroyed by Zhao Wu, almost completely destroyed. If they don't react at all, then once this matter spreads, let alone the British Army, the entire empire will not be able to lift its head in the world. Alas, I still suffered from the lack of an intelligence system. I am really blind now, not even having any intelligence outside the occupied area. It seems that the plan to establish an intelligence agency must be advanced. With this murmur, Zhao Wu quickly opened the barracks page and then locked in the spy unit. Games are games, reality is reality. Games and reality are different. I won't go into much detail about the spy functions in the game. In reality, spy units need to be set in advance when Zhao Wu recruits them. You can set his race, age, language, culture, and so on. Let's give an analogy. If Zhao Wu wants intelligence on the empire that never sets, he can create a spy unit based on the cultural race of the empire. This spy unit will be white and will speak pure local English, while also knowing many historical and interesting stories about the local area. Such a unit will easily integrate into the Sunset Empire, and even more like a Sunset Empire person than many citizens of the Sunset Empire, allowing him to easily and smoothly complete intelligence collection work. The spy unit is undoubtedly very powerful. But. Their recruitment prices are really a bit expensive. The recruitment price for a spy unit is as high as 1,000 funds. The cost of using a spy unit to build an intelligence force is immensely high. Take Myanmar as an example. Myanmar has a total of seven states, seven provinces, and two central municipalities, totaling 16 administrative regions. Each administrative district has a capital. Even if Xiao Wu is just building a basic intelligence system framework for Myanmar, he still needs to have at least one spy unit in each administrative region of Myanmar, right? Sixteen capitals make up sixteen spies. A spy with one thousand funds, sixteen is sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand yuan, it doesn't sound like much. But. This is just building the most basic and fundamental intelligence system framework. 
not to mention the size of an administrative region or a capital, one spy is not enough. A capital requires at least three or four spies to barely be enough, right? Even if there are three, this wave of expenditure will be close to 50,000 yuan. This is just Myanmar. I can't bear to let go of my child, I can't keep a wolf in my pants. I'll have to build an intelligence system sooner or later, let alone I'm not short of funds for now. Zhao Wu murmured and gritted his teeth, summoning twenty spy units in one breath. Out of these twenty spy units, ten used the template of the empire that never sets, and the other ten used the template of the Burmese people. Twenty barracks are working simultaneously. One day later. Twenty spy units are all in place. With a big wave of his hand, Zhao Wu entrusted them with the task of exploring British intelligence and building the Red Alert Myanmar intelligence system, and then dispatched them all out. As a spy unit, their ability to build intelligence systems and obtain intelligence is very professional, so entrusted with the task, Zhao Wu is very confident. Thank you to the leader of the Qin Emperor for giving a 100V reward. Thank you very much. I am looking for free flower evaluation tickets. I am looking for monthly tickets. I am looking for a reward. Six shifts Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 7. Killing the rooster as a warning to the monkey. The British army attacks again. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The ability of a spy unit is really beyond our control. Zhao Wu's investment of 20,000 yuan this time was not in vain. Two days later, he received intelligence from the Red Alert Myanmar Intelligence Unit. The reason was that it really exceeded Zhao Wu's expectations. It wasn't as Zhao Wu had guessed that he was afraid of being beaten up by himself, but it wasn't until two days ago that the British army learned the news of the annihilation of the brigade they had sent. Why did it lead to this result? Firstly, it is because the location where the Red Police ambushed the British army is very close to the eastern Shan state. The area is sparsely populated, surrounded by dense forests, and the village closest to the ambush point is over 20 kilometers away. Secondly, it was because there was only one survivor in the entire British brigade. While fleeing, the survivor was afraid of being chased by the Red Alert soldiers, so they ran into the dense forest and got lost. They spent a whole four days circling through the forest before finally escaping. By the time he returned the news to the British base in Burma, it had been a full five days since the ambush. According to the intelligence transmitted by the spy, the British army is very angry now. Very angry. The reason why they did not send troops immediately after learning the intelligence was to mobilize troops and prepare to use the Red Police Corps to send a warning to the enemy. Who is the monkey in killing chickens and warning monkeys? The monkey is the SODOT called Independent Volunteer Army led by Aung Shan in Myanmar, as well as the Burmese people who are dissatisfied with the rule of the British army. Humph, you want to use me as a warning to the chickens and monkeys. What a beautiful idea. Upon learning about the British plan, Zhao Wu couldn't help but sneer. He quickly opened the map that came with the Red Alert base and carefully studied it. According to the intelligence of the spy unit, after all the troops are in place, the British army will mobilize three full brigades, totaling 12,000 troops, and launch an attack on Maumei, Mengnai, and Mengdong counties that have already been controlled by the Red Police Corps. The plan is to eliminate the Red Police Corps within three days. Three regiments, attacking at the same time, will solve me within three days. What a big breath. It seems that even though the British army has already lost one regiment in my hands, they are still so arrogant and arrogant. Zhao Wu murmured, and suddenly a smile appeared on his face. He sneered, humph, that's okay. The more arrogant you are and the less you look down on me, the fewer casualties the Red Police Corps may have. It's a good thing for me. Time is running out. Blink. Five days later. 
The spy unit received intelligence that the British forces had already assembled. The two regiments of the British 17th Division departed from Mandalay and divided their forces into two routes. They passed through Shibu and killed Meng Gong, who was under Zhao Wu's control. The other route was to Yonggui and killed Meng Nai. A regiment of the British 1st Division sent troops from Bogu, passed through Dongyu and Mobi, and headed straight to Maomei. Humph, British, you guys have come. I've been waiting for you for a long time and I'm getting impatient. Upon learning this intelligence, Zhao Wu's face immediately showed a brilliant smile. He can't wait anymore. I can't wait to hear the good news that he had already arranged for Meng Gong, Meng Nai, and Mao Mei's three red guards to strengthen their team a few days ago. He can't wait to hear the news that the county governments of Shibu, Yonggui, and Mobi have fallen under his control. Yes. The purpose of Zhao Wu in this war is not just to repel the British encirclement. The territory he currently occupies is still too small, only five counties in total. If placed before the novice protection mode of the Red Alert base system is released, Zhao Wu may be satisfied. But now, since the novice protection mode of the Red Alert base has been lifted, since he can now rely on the Red Alert base to continue explosive operations, since he has already torn his face with the British Army. So, why not be more aggressive? There is actually a more important reason, which is. After several days of hard work and hard work, Zhao Wu has developed all valuable mining sites in the five counties he currently controls and built or refineries on top of them. Currently, within the five counties, Zhao Wu built a total of 27 or refining plants. Unfortunately, the mining sites found these days are not necessarily rich minerals. So Zhao Wu's daily income hasn't actually increased much, only by over 10,000 yuan. Currently, he earns 70,000 yuan per day. He can't be satisfied with 70,000 yuan a day. A day of 100,000 is still about the same. So, he naturally launched a plan to expand his territory. Time is running out. Blink. Two more days have passed. Two days later. Under the deliberate control of the British army, three British regiments approached the territory controlled by Zhao Wu from three different directions. Although all three Red Police reinforcement teams have set up ambushes, the British army is also arrogant and arrogant. But. This mysterious force that suddenly emerged in the northeast region of Myanmar, after all, had once relied on ambushes to completely annihilate their entire brigade. So the three British armies were extremely cautious as they approached their respective combat destinations, with reconnaissance troops always leading the way. Nature After realizing that the ambush could not be successful, the three regimental leaders decisively abandoned the ambush and instead relied on the ambush position to directly engage with the British army. 7 Watch Seeking free flowers. Seeking free evaluation tickets. Seeking rewards. Seeking monthly tickets. Seeking everything. Please, give some free flower evaluation tickets, the data is really terrible. Please, handsome and beautiful female readers. Chapter 8. War on the Third Front, Artillery on British Positions. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The border between Shibu and Mengong. At a pass. The soldiers of the 1st Regiment of the Red Police 1st Division are patiently waiting. On the battlefield, there were several MG-42 General. Purpose machine guns, as well as Lee Enfield sniper rifles and M1 brand semi. Automatic rifles. Under the illumination of Yangon, they reflected off a chilling black light. Due to the news transmitted by the reconnaissance troops, the British army was very cautious. Even if it was just a small hill that was not suitable for ambush, they would send reconnaissance troops in advance for reconnaissance, let alone the dangerous pass where the regiment is currently located. So. Let's just stop pretending here and have a showdown. Not continuing to ambush, but directly exposing the position. The British scouts didn't need to approach at all, 
just a few hundred meters away to catch a glimpse of the Red Alert's position. After receiving the news from the reconnaissance team, the marching speed of the British Army has slightly increased. It gradually stopped after arriving near the pass. Different from the fighting methods within China, the armies of Europe and America are very fond of using guns to lead the way. Especially after learning that the Red Police Corps may have at least a hundred mortars in their hands. After arriving near the pass, the British Army quickly stopped. On one hand, they quickly built their own simple positions, while on the other hand, they quickly calibrated their guns. Actually, at this time, the Red Alert team can already launch shelling on the British Army. 5105mm caliber howitzers and 2155mm caliber heavy howitzers. If these 70 howitzers were fired simultaneously, it would definitely give the British Army a very painful lesson. But. Etuan did not do so. No, no, no. It's not just a ball. The 2nd and 3rd regiments did not do this either. The reason why the three regiments did not do so is simple. In order to eliminate the vast majority of British artillery units in a timely manner. After a while, the first round of test firing by the British on the Red Police Corps position has finally arrived. Bang, bang, bang. Dozens of guns of different calibers fired simultaneously. A series of shells shot into the sky, crossing a beautiful arc in the air and hitting various positions of the Red Police Corps. For a moment, dust was flying. After the first round of test firing, the British artillery adjusted various parameters of the artillery according to the results of the test firing, talking and laughing, and not taking the time to do so. I completely don't know. Above the Red Police Corps position on the pass. The artillery units of the Red Alert are also adjusting the parameters of one howitzer based on the results of the first round of British test firing. It's just that. Unlike the artillery of the British Army, the artillery of the Red Police Corps moved very quickly and without any delay. So. When the British artillery had just adjusted halfway, the artillery on the Red Police Corps side had already started firing. In the first round of test firing, only 3105mm caliber howitzers were fired. Bang, bang, bang. Boom. 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 Different from the Red Police Corps. The position on the side of the Red Police Corps took over two days to build, and the intensity of the position was very high. Considering that the British Army was accustomed to using artillery to clear the way, a large number of scattered pits, trenches, and cat ear holes were excavated. And what about the British side? The arrogant and arrogant British army did not believe that a group of bandits running out of the mountains and valleys could have large caliber artillery in their hands, and they also did not believe that the Red Police Corps would launch a counterattack on their own side so. Their position is very rudimentary, just symbolically constructed. This leads to 30 high explosive grenades, although only two or three of them had accurate coordinate data, successfully landed on British artillery positions. The vast majority of other high explosive grenades did not hit British artillery positions. But it caused huge damage to the surrounding British army. Fakir. Not good. Damn it. That yellow skin bandit was actually equipped with a large number of cannons. Above the British position. Listening to the fierce sound of gunfire coming from the dangerous pass in the distance, and the loud explosion coming from our own artillery position behind us, I was originally chatting with the staff beside me with a smile, making a bet on how long they would be able to capture the pass in front of me. Wilson, the commander of the 57th Brigade of the 17th Division of the British Army, changed his face suddenly. The next moment. He quickly roared, Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Send the order and let the artillery shift their positions. It's too late. It's too late. It's already too late. Don't forget. The Red Alert team only used 30 howitzers during the test firing just now. There are still 40 howitzers left and used. 
as soon as the results of the first wave of test firing are released. The 40 howitzers, which were already ready to be fired, were fired without hesitation after rapid fine dot tuning. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. 20 calibrated 105mm caliber and 2155mm caliber howitzers were fired simultaneously. In a moment, the terrifying sound of artillery echoed through the sky. Forty shells intertwined into a huge net in the air, passing through a beautiful arc and accurately landing on the British artillery position. 8. Watch. Seeking free flowers. Seeking free evaluation tickets. Seeking monthly tickets. Seeking rewards. Seeking everything. Give some free flower evaluation tickets. Please, one or two flowers, one or two photos are also good. Just let the author know that someone is watching, if not, deduct one from the comments section or even reply with an exclamation mark in any paragraph. Chapter 9 Saturated Firepower Strike, British Forces Escape You are listening at NovelFull.audio The power of high explosive grenades is not overwhelming. The shock wave generated during the explosion can easily flatten everything within a few meters or even tens of meters around it. Shock waves are actually secondary. The main issue is the tens of thousands of fragments generated during the grenade explosion. The initial velocity of each fragment is much faster than the bullets fired from any firearm. The fragments generated by the explosion of a 105mm caliber high explosive grenade have a dense killing radius of up to 20 meters. Within 20 meters, if there are no corresponding protective measures, such as trenches and cat pits, then it is a dead end. Even if he doesn't die, he will at least lose half of his life. The maximum killing radius is about 70.80 meters. This is just the power of a 105mm caliber high explosive grenade. Don't forget. Each Red Police Corps is equipped with 2155mm caliber howitzers. The 155mm caliber howitzer has even more astonishing power. The dense killing radius of the fragments after the explosion is as much as 60 meters, and the maximum killing radius can be about 350 meters. What concept is this? A terrifying concept. Although the second round of 40 shells, less than half of the more than 10 shells fell on the British artillery positions. But. This is already enough. It is already enough to cause significant damage to the British artillery units. Causing damage is not actually the most important thing. The most important thing is. After this round of shelling, the British artillery on the other side fell to the ground one by one to avoid the debris, forcing the British to halt the second round of shelling against the Red Police Corps. When the British artillery regained their composure and began preparing to counterattack or relocate their positions. Above a pass thousands of meters away. Bang, bang, bang. The first batch of 3105mm caliber howitzers were fired again after calibration parameters were met. Next up. Bang, bang, bang. The second batch of 40 howitzers, after calibrating their parameters again, also fired again. Two waves of artillery, divided into batches and taking turns firing, carried out a comprehensive and saturated firepower attack on the entire British artillery position. In the next few minutes, the artillery of the Red Alert Regiment launched dozens of rounds of shelling on the British artillery positions. In fact, in the 7th and 8th round, the artillery of this British brigade had already been completely destroyed. But. Still that sentence. Zhao Wu is not short of money. Not afraid of 10,000, just afraid of the unexpected. In order to minimize casualties as much as possible, Zhao Wu repeatedly emphasized one thing to the three regimental leaders when ordering the three regiments to set out to snipe the British army, which is. If it can be solved with guns, do not use guns, if you can solve it from a distance, don't engage in close combat. The three regimental leaders also executed Zhao Wu's orders perfectly. After dozens of rounds of shelling. 
It was not until the entire British artillery position was bombed into a honeycomb that 70 howitzers turned their guns and launched fierce shelling against the British within range. However, the British army is not a fool either. Knowing that the Red Police Corps has a large number of artillery on their side, how could they foolishly stay in place and be bombed? When they were bombed in the first few rounds, the British army, which was originally at least four or five kilometers away from the pass, quickly abandoned their position and rushed towards the pass. The large caliber howitzer is indeed very powerful and has a long range, but its drawbacks are also very obvious. Firstly, it is too heavy and inconvenient to carry. Secondly, there is a minimum range of artillery fire. Once the enemy is too far away, it is impossible to carry out shelling. After all, howitzers have a minimum elevation angle, unlike flat artillery, which can achieve flat fire. However, don't forget. In the hands of the Red Police Corps, in addition to possessing a large number of howitzers, each reinforced regiment has 250 M29A1 Type 81mm mortars. The maximum range of the M29A1 81mm mortar is about 4 km, and the minimum is about 100 meters. The theoretical firing speed is about 30 rounds per minute, but this is theoretical. In fact, its sustained firing rate is around 8 rounds per minute. Remember, it's a sustained rate of fire. 250 doors, 8 rounds per minute. That means. In one minute, the Red Police Corps can fire 2,000 mortar shells. Yes. Really the power of mortars is definitely inferior to that of howitzers. The M29A1 81mm mortar, equipped with high explosive shells, has a maximum kill diameter of only about 30 meters. But. 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 The key to the problem is. The mortar is firing fast. The Red Police Corps did not immediately fire on their side. But it was only when the British Army advanced to a position about two kilometers away from the pass position that they suddenly fired. Accompanied by a command. The Red Police Brigade, each battalion, each company, and each platoon. All mortar units are firing simultaneously. Bang, bang, bang. In an instant. Hundreds of shells, like scattered flowers, densely packed towards the British army. Then. Then there was no more. After being hit by seven or eight rounds of mortar rain. The entire British army immediately disintegrated. They scattered and fled towards the dense forests on both sides. What? Mother Sheepy, are you running away now? Dog's little devil. Pooh, pooh, pooh. Pooh, I'm wrong. Grandma Tay. Is this the British army of the empire that never sets? See the situation. Most of the soldiers in the regiment started cursing profusely. Oh my god. Can they not be angry? After waiting hard for so many days, I thought I could fight a good battle, but what happened? Not a single shot has been fired yet, not even the face of the British army has been seen, and the British army has been shelled by artillery. Try asking. Can they not be angry? Nine watches. Seeking free flowers. Seeking free evaluation tickets. Seeking monthly tickets. Seeking rewards. Seeking everything. Give me some free flower evaluation tickets. Seeking all handsome, elegant, charming, and charming readers who love flowers, drive cars, and experience tire blowouts. Oh my! Chapter 10 The British Army Capturing Three Counties and Trapping Them You are listening at NovelFull.audio From the first shot fired by the British Army, to the counterattack of the Red Alert Regiment, and then to the defeat of the British Army. The whole process is really short. Too short, too short. The total time may not exceed 15 minutes. You know. That's a complete British brigade. Although the empire has truly weakened after experiencing two consecutive world wars, its remaining strength remains. The combat effectiveness of the British army still exists. Result. 
Now. In less than 15 minutes, he was scattered and fled under the terrifying saturation firepower of the Red Police Corps. If this news were to spread, it would definitely shake the whole world 100%. However, such a shameful record would definitely not be revealed by the British Army on their own initiative. But. Such a big thing has happened in Myanmar, and the British Army has been mobilizing a large number of troops in Myanmar in recent days. In fact, it has already attracted the attention of those with intentions. Especially the biggest winner of World War II, the bald eagle Miley Jian. Maligian hopes that the empire will continue to weaken as the sun sets, so that they can replace him more smoothly and become the new world hegemon. So. No accidents. The news that the British army launched three regiments to attack the Red Police Corps simultaneously, but all ended in a disastrous defeat, will quickly and easily spread throughout the world under the influence of Miley Jian. Yes. Not just a group here. The situation on the side of the 2nd and 3rd regiments is also similar. Although the battle was not resolved as quickly as the 1st regiment, the latest 2nd regiment only took less than half an hour to forcefully disperse a British brigade. As the saying goes, do not pursue the poor. After defeating the British army, the three Red Guards strengthened their regiments and according to their original plan, they respectively attacked Shibu, Yonggui, and Mobi. In order to capture the county towns of the three counties before the collapse of the British army. The three Red Police strengthening regiments each dispatched one or two battalions of troops, carrying a certain amount of light mortars, and then marched lightly towards the county government of the three counties. The Burmese defenders in the county seat of the three counties never expected such a thing to happen. Although many Burmese people today are very resistant to the British army due to their decades of rule and exploitation, they are very eager to drive the British army out of Myanmar and allow it to become independent. But. After decades of rule, the British army has left a very deep and powerful impression on the Burmese people. In addition, this time, the British Army has taken it seriously. Before sending troops, the British Army extensively promoted the fact that they would sweep the government rebels in the eastern Shan and Wa states within three days. So the majority of Burmese people feel that the armed forces that occupied the eastern Shan and Wa states are definitely finished. This leads to when the vanguard battalion of the Red Police Corps arrived at the three county towns, the gates of the three county towns were still open. Until the vanguard camp occupied a certain wall of the county town and disarmed all the nearby defenders, there were only a few Burmese defenders left in the city, which was only later realized. And then then there was no more. Soldiers are bloodless. It's really a bloodless battle. Three regiments, all without bloodshed, captured the three county towns. Winning three county towns without bloodshed is not the key. The key is. Due to not firing a single shot, after the vanguard troops of the 3rd Regiment captured the three county towns, the three British regiments, who had just regrouped and hastily retreated, did not know that their way back had been cut off and were hurriedly heading towards the three county towns in great distress and panic. Running faster and faster. Obviously, I was scared by the terrifying firepower of the Red Police Corps just now, and I was worried that the Red Police Corps would catch up and cause a painful defeat. Afternoon, 3 o'clock. Shibu County Town. After spending over an hour in the Pioneer 1st and 2nd Battalions of the Red Police Regiment, the entire county town was firmly controlled. A scout suddenly received a message that shocked both battalion commanders. What? The British army that was previously dispersed by us is retreating. It will take at most an hour to reach the county town of Cebu. A battalion commander, Huang Ting, stared in amazement. Yes, Captain, said the Red Alert correspondent. What about the leader and his team? How long does it take for the leader and his team to reach Shibu County? Huang Huang asked after him. According to the telegram sent by the regimental headquarters, after learning that the British army was retreating towards Cebu, they were rushing with all their might. However, due to excessive supplies, it would take at least two hours to reach Cebu. 
so, do we need to persist for at least an hour? A battalion commander, Huang Gui, frowned and then asked, how many people are there in that British army? Report to the battalion commander, according to the reports from the reconnaissance team, there are about 15,600. Is that all? The sorrow on Huang Gui's face dissipated for a moment, and then he patted his head and smiled, saying, yes. A British regiment, with only 4,000 people in total, was just shelled by us for a quarter of an hour, losing a lot of troops. Even if it were to regroup after the collapse, it would not be possible for all of them to be in place. A normal battalion has a total of 650 troops, consisting of three 166-strong infantry companies, a 50-strong machine gun platoon, a 50-strong supply platoon, a 16-strong assault reconnaissance squad, a 16-strong combat engineer squad, and a 20-strong battalion headquarters squad. But the Red Police 1st Regiment, 2nd Regiment, and 3rd Regiment are all reinforced regiments, and the three main infantry battalions below the three regiments are all reinforced infantry battalions, each with a strength of 950 people. The two battalions combined make up 1900 people. So in terms of military strength, the Red Police Corps has already surpassed the British Army in defeat. Not to mention. Now the Red Police Corps still occupies the county walls. Think of this. Huang Huan's smile became even brighter as he said, by the way, pass the order and have someone replace the flag of our army on the city head and the flag of Myanmar again. I want to go out and beat the dog. Yes. P.S. The picture shows the protagonist's current territory, highlighted in yellow. In 1945, Myanmar and Afghanistan had not yet gained independence from the Empire of the Sun Never Set, and Anam was still ruled by the Kingdom of Gaul. At the same time, the Yunnan army was still in the hands of Long Yun. It was not until October that they were dismissed from office and lost their military power in a coup, so this picture is relatively reasonable. Seeking free flowers. Seeking free evaluation tickets. Seeking monthly tickets. Seeking rewards. Seeking everything. Give some free flower evaluation tickets. Begging.